For this tutorial, we are assuming that you are not using Music One's traffic and billing system. If you're using our Trafecta software, then there are other important spot break options that we will help you with personally. This video is for the stations that are using separate traffic and billing software to schedule their advertising. Spot break units in Music One are used in one of two ways. It depends on whether you're going to have your automation system do the final merge of the music and the advertising schedules, or if you're going to have Music One import the advertising schedule file and then deliver a fully merged log file to your playout system. To add a spot break unit to a format clock, click the Insert Item button on the right side of the clock screen. Click the Special button and select Spot Break and add it. Put your spot breaks in the proper positions around the clock. When they're first added, they look like this. Right-click on the item name and select Properties. If the nominal length field is showing milliseconds as this one is, double-click in the field and change it to hours, minutes, seconds. The nominal length that you see here is used only to display the size of the format slice on the clock. Enter the average length of commercial content that you expect to have in the break each hour. The default is three minutes. It does not mean that there can only be three minutes of content here, nor does it mean that there must be three minutes of content. Again, this number is only for the typical time that you expect in this break. It is just for visual display alone. You don't have to enter anything in the name field. If you don't, then the break will show on the format clock like this one at 28. If you do enter a name instead of showing the break this way, your name will appear on the clock label. Click the Start Time tab. The nominal time is the most important. What you enter here must match the formatting of the breaks in your traffic and billing software formatting. If your advertising log is going to have breaks with start times of 10, 28, and 45, then you must have three spot breaks on the M1 clock with those specific times entered on the nominal start time fields. That's all that has to be done. Nothing else has to be entered in any field on this window. And for the majority of automation playout systems, what you've seen so far is all that needs to be done. With just a very few automation systems, a special command might be required. Some may have to enter a custom character to identify the queue in the log file that Music One produces. Maybe a break type might be needed too. And in a rare case, subsequent commercials in the break might also need to have a custom sync and queue type. Again, the command field is rarely needed and is automation system specific. And we here at Music One will personally help you do the setup for such special commands if it's needed by your automation system. Now, as I said at the start of this video, spot breaks will either put a spot break marker in the log file M1 produces so your automation system can do a proper merge, or the spot breaks are used by M1 itself to import the advertising schedule and do the merge. That is determined on the System Settings Traffic Import screen. If you have none entered here, then M1 is going to export a merge marker. If you have anything else here, M1 is going to import the advertising schedule itself. And in that case, there will be some initial setup that will be required on this screen. And that is another video.